Well, the 60s were a tumultuous time in our country, particularly in our state. Race relations took center stage. Our next guest had a front row seat and a very unique perspective, and she shares it in her new book. Leela Quintero Weaver is here to tell us about Dark Room, a memoir in black and white. Leela, thank you so much for being with us today. I'm delighted to be. Yes, ma'am. It is our pleasure. And you brought your book with you. And this is very, very neat. Tell us about it. Well, it's a particular genre that's referred to commonly as graphic novel. That's right. It is full of illustrations. It's more illustration, really, than writing. So it's kind of a fast read, but it's a long look because you can really get into it and spend time kind of luxuriating in the, in the drawings that I spent four years laboring over. So you are not only an author, you are an, in, in, an illustrator yes. in the uh, comic book style. And if the mm -hmm. folks at home, the ones closer to my age will probably know what a graphic novel is, but, but it is a bigger comic book, more weighty. Thicker, it is. And usually a lot more serious content as well. But this is a true story. Tell us about it. It is a true story. It's the story of my family's immigration to the United States in 1961 when I was five years old. Mm. So we settled in Alabama. And the timing of our arrival coincided with the upheaval in our society here in the South when Jim Crow was uh, kind of under the gun, uh, under pressure from the federal government and under pressure from the uh, civil rights movement as it was beginning in earnest. And you guys, not being black, not being white, what was that like? It, it, that's really a perspective that, that we haven't heard much about. We've heard so much about this time in history, particularly in our state, but, but from someone who really, I hate to say it, but didn't have a horse in the fight, more or less, what did it look like? Exactly, that's true. We were members of a minuscule minority. <laughs> there were hardly any Hispanics in, in the South at that time. It was rare for us to run into another um, native Spanish speaker in the state. And um, so we just kind of found ourselves occupying a really tiny niche. And our racial identity was not um, clearly defined for us. Or So, go ahead. Let me go ahead and ask you this really quick. Why did you decide to go the graphic novel for the format? Why not uh, a novel or maybe a photography book with some of the historical photos. Why did you decide to, is it because you're an artist you wanted to draw or, or is there just something particular about that comic style that works for you? Well, when I first heard that there was such a thing as a graphic novel that could be either literary or memoir was around uh, the year 2004 or five when a novel that is now famous written by a woman who is Iranian she wrote her life story and she illustrated it in, in a graphic novel format. And so that opened my eyes to the possibility of something that had never occurred to me. And I thought, okay, I can draw. Let me, let me see what I can do with this format. So that's why I decided to pursue it that way. And then the University of Alabama Press, as you know, has a significant catalog of titles about the civil rights movement. Mm -hmm. And um, they became interested in, in, in my project because they thought, well, here's a voice we have not heard from before. Um, a new point of view, someone who comes from um, an, with an outsider status and has also something very different to offer, not just text, but uh, illustrations. And you mentioned photos. A lot of my illustrations were um, <coughs> I guess you could say inspired by my father's photography. Uh -huh. He was not a professional, but he took a, a lot of photos. So that's part of, of um, that's why it's called Dark Room. There you are, super. Well, Leila, it's, it, it looks like an incredibly unique book and, and thank you so much for coming and sharing it with us today. Well, thank you. I hope people will turn out for my book signing tomorrow there at Kentuck go. from five to nine. Yes, ma'am. There's a book signing for Dark Room on Thursday, April 5th in the Tear Gallery at Kentuck, that's over in Northport, that starts at 5 p.m. You can purchase a copy of the book from the UA Press online at uapress.ua.edu. 